remember we were talking that the euro is the strongest so the next the weak currency or the neutral kind of currency was either the Japanese yen or the British pounds these are the two plus or minuses so let's take a look at the British pound so the euro pound pair and by here we're looking at our entry was above the structure which is the 7874 that's the structure point and we had a buying point at 7856 which like 14 pips about below the structure and if we look at the chart for the euro pound again that is the magnificent move that we had and it's simply because and that you can see now that the pound is not as technically or fundamentally if you will as strong as the others so any move that's coming any strength that coming into a counter currency it always appears as weakness in the pound and therefore you can see the euro pound it's the same story that we discussed with regards to the euro dollar this is pretty much a distress close the high of the day is the 80 five it closed the day at 80 or four so that is a again we're looking for a continuation I recall that the 80 or 33 is a pretty important point I just want to double check it can see it over here so I guess it's the 80 66 so it's the same play that we're going to play with the uh, with the what we did with the uh, euro uh, dollar we want to make sure that this thing is moves above the daily high and we are going to use this point here as a significant point which is the 179.62 okay so let's look at the so we want to take this to the long side once it, it trades above the high so the 79.49 and I have a structure point at 79.62 which is right there So this is interesting uh, pattern guys I want you to see and this is uh, quite a, some of the observations that happen to come uh, few and far in between but once they do they actually are good observations to keep an eye on. You can see on the way up you have a structural point on the way up here which is the this one here which is the 7962 while this point over here is the 79.49 okay which is represent on the intraday those two points right there this is a solid block this is a solid area of support or resistance and it has already been penetrated above it with momentum so this now is going to be a strong area of support that should be holding that euro pound above it so having said that 
the way we're going to play this, um, I really would prefer if we go short. Look at all of these ranges here. This is ridiculous. I mean, that's an explosive move. I mean, all of these, I mean, if you see all of these one daily high, three daily high, four daily high, two daily high, one structural point, two structural point, if you can gauge or visualize that each one of those represents, let's say, a thousand traders reversing their short and going long, reversing their short and going long, if you just add these numbers, just to give you a heads up, as if they're the number of traders, you will have 10 times as much. And now with all the structure, that's why you're going to have, or we have this continuation to the upside, and it should continue higher. So therefore, going short, I would prefer for us to go short below the, the 79.49. Yes, it's about 50 pips away, but that is the safest. So we are going to go short the pound, the euro pound below 79.49. That is going to be our structural short point. And of course, it is going to be our stop. Okay. On the long side, I want to take it above the 80. I'll, I'll just use the 80.05, which is the, the daily high. If it gets above that, I want, and if I buy it above the high, my stop is going to be 79.90. And the next structure point that is going to appear on the long side is the 80. 66 and this guys the 8066 is an important number and it it is there is a very good chance it's only 66 pips away there is a very good chance it will get there but keep in mind that those 66 pips are equivalent to about 100 pips in a normal pair because the size of the pip in the euro pound is 1.6 <coughs> of the normal pair so we're going to buy above 805. If we do, we have a structure point at 8060. And if we and our stop is going to be 7990 on the long side. On the short side, we're going to go short below the structure point, which is this one over here, the 7949. That's going to be our short point, our structure. Hold on, hold on. I would rather take it below the 79.62. So um, that actually, because that's on the way down, so 17. Technically, it is stronger to go sh short below the It's the closest to the price action, and that will be the big turtle soup, Brandon. So we will take it in that way, okay? And that is the euro pound. Let me save that. Here is the chart, the, and we'll come back and do the rest.